Hi, how to batch print from multiple folders to different printers and different print settings as well. So to do this, you need to install Batch and Print Pro. The free trial is on our website. So once you have it installed and started up, click on Options menu, Directory Monitor Setup. Now in here, I'm going to monitor these two folders here and have different settings for each folder. So I'm going to put in Monitor Directory Path D Test One, which is this folder. And you can put in file type, for example, .pdf, or you can put in a part of the name of the file as well. So, so if you just want anything but started with test, then you could just put that in there and it would only pick up that file there. I'm just going to leave it blank to print anything in there. It can be any type of document. It can be like Word documents, Excel files, things like that, or PDFs. In this case, I'm going to use PDFs. So I need to activate monitoring. I'm going to monitor, say, every 10 seconds for a new file appears. I'm going to set my printer for this one to any printer that you want. I'm going to set it to this as an example. And then once you finish your setup, you can click Add to Monitor List. Now, I want to do the same with the second folder, but send it to a different printer. So I'm going to put in DTest2. I'm going to set up a different printer. You can use the same printer if you wanted to as well. Click OK. Click Add to Monitor List. So now I have two different setups. So I'll click Save and Exit. So what I would do is count down 10 seconds and then it would scan both folders, see if there's any new files appear. So you can see it's processing this folder first and then it will move on to the next folder. So if I click on the printer queue, I can see if I sort by submitted and see that it printed these in order as they are. And then it moved on to the next printer, which is these files here, which is what's set and monitor there. So that's a quick and easy way how to monitor lots of folders and print to lots of different printers. You get up to a thousand different printers and folders in there. So to set certain settings for the print, what you can do, you can do it various different ways. You can either use a PRS file, which is a print settings file, which is a snapshot of the actual print driver. So that could be any setting within the print driver, including custom settings to that driver. Or you can use certain command files like changing trays and things like that. But they have to be named the correct way so for example, some printers are named tray, but other printers are named draw or bin. So it has to be a zap for the same naming. So go into options menu, Dutch Master Setup. So you click on the setting you want to change. In here, you can use a PRS file. So I'm just going to click on setup for this. And you can go into that printer, which is C500. And you can set your setting. So I'm going to set it on tray 2, for example. And you can go into properties and chase any other setting in there. Then I'm just going to click OK on that. Now it's asking where to save the PRS file. So I'm just going to call it one.prs. So it's put that information in there now. So now if I click on the next one, click yes to save the last one. Click on setup for that one. So I'm going to put it to 8310, put it on tray 3, because that's quite an unusual one to use. OK, and I call it 2.prs. OK, so that's now set up. So if I click Save and Exit now on that, I need to clear the print loss because I printed before. This stops it from repeat printing, so I'm going to clear, clear print log and it will repeat print. As you can see, it's putting the PRS file first to set the actual printer and then it will send the files afterwards and same with the next printer so if I go on to the printers again now I can see the, the prints from before which I think cover one for example was going to right mouse properties it was set at tray one before well now it should be set on tray three I think for that one so I've got to properties of the new file 
you can see it's set it to tray three there. So if I then go to the other printer, so you've got the previous submitted and recent. So on the previous, it was set to auto select, but now it should be set to tray two, which it is on the printer. And like I say, you can change any print settings. So you can change the paper size and things like that in the PRS file. So that's a quick and easy guide now to monitor multiple folders to print to multiple printers. There's many, many more options. You can look in the help. There's some walkthrough guides and also lots of online videos how to use the software. Give it a try.